Good morning, it is Friday the 20th of March 2020. Welcome to the Open News for today. In the news, farmers can capitalize from a looming world food crisis, nationwide plan to protect the community. The Ministry of Public Health is preparing for a big rainy season and beware of fake government COVID inspectors. It is now more than ever more beneficial for farmers and growers to capitalize on the threat of a global food crisis. This is what District Commissioner Mike Nerkus said during a visit to the STVS. The DC expects that the lockdown due to COVID-19 virus will have an impact on the food supply. He also refers to the potential that Suriname has and the challenge to serve as a regional food shed. Since the outbreak of the coronavirus in December 2019, the disease is spreading rapidly worldwide. So far in Suriname, three patients have been tested positive. The district commissioner would like the number to be limited and that further spreading be closely monitored by all involved. That is why adjusted opening hours have also been established for various markets and businesses. It is also emphasized that restaurants, for all safety, let clients order online or via telephone and preferably a delivery proce procedure. Suriname has closed its borders since Wednesday, March the 11th and as many flights as possible will be carried out to fly Surinamese back home. In a very short time, Suriname has been able to prepare reasonably for COVID-19. The Surinamese government has formulated a national plan with as main goal to protect the society. It is therefore very important for the community to follow precautions so that the plan can produce the desired results. Ruben Del Prado, director of Decati International, looks further at the role of the nursing staff. In addition to preventive care, employees in the healthcare sector must also oversee the spread of the virus that it is limited. Some institutions have developed their own plans and have taken precautionary measures to protect employees and also clients. This will also be the case with Decati International. It is wise to observe the precautions. It is also important to prevent the virus from spreading further within our community. The great rainy season is imminent. During this period, there is also an increase in flu cases in Suriname. The Ministry of Health is already preparing for this situation as well as possible. Cleopatra Yesterun, the Director of Public Health, explained yesterday at the COVID-19 press conference that they are looking for a designated flu outpatient clinic. For now, the academic hospital has ensured that persons with any flu symptoms are referred to a special designated place. Yesterun emphasized that not every cough has to be a COVID-19 case. The stigma surrounding the virus must be eliminated. The director explained that people with influenza symptoms should first make contact by phone with their house doctor. He or she should be able to determine on the basis of certain criteria if it regards a possible COVID-19 case or not. Yesterday adds that different people come to the house doctor with various conditions. People with chronic diseases are very sensitive. By first contacting their doctor, you also protect others, says the public health director. Like the designated ambulances, the plan has yet to be worked out for appointed flu clinics. And finally, the director advises that people should ensure that when they cough, that they do that either in their elbow corners or in the armpit and wash your hands well. And at last, the police warn society to be alert for fake COVID-19 inspectors. The Ministry of Justice and Police is asking the community to be alert. These days, criminals visit homes disguised as government inspectors to do a home inspection. The police wishes to emphasize that a team is only being sent after the hotline 178 is deployed to coordinate the process. Citizens should not let people into their homes saying they come for a medical inspection. That was the common threat yesterday of a police media report. Should there be any report of a COVID-19 case, contact is made 
with the person or family, after which the agreements are then made personally and clearly. The quick response team that makes home visits on behalf of the government authorities will identify themselves upon arrival. And in advance, coordination is made between the team and the resident or residents of the relevant address. That is all for the local news for today. And as for the COVID-19 case, we cannot emphasize it to wash your hands very well and to take care of yourself. Have a wonderful weekend until Monday for a new edition. Bye-bye.